Harvey Weatherby's out on the roads tonight as the rain continues to fall. This is a live look from I-40 westbound in Wake County. Wet roads out there, so be extra careful if you do have to get out. Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein tracking what areas are being hit the hardest. Wes. Well, I tell you what, it is a rain-only event, Angela, and it's going to continue on and off through the night. Now, the more moderate rain is up north of the triangle along the Virginia border, but just because you see some blank spots on the radar doesn't mean it's dry. There's drizzle and mist out there as well as some fog, and that usually doesn't show up in radar. It's out there, and it's going to be around for the remainder of the night. Another note about what's going on tonight. The rain snow line is way up to the north, so for us, it is all wet. It is a rain-only event, at least this time around. And even though there doesn't look to be a whole lot else out there, there's still going to be some on-again, off-again light rain showers overnight. Again, today wasn't warm, but it's definitely above freezing. Can you believe a week from today, it's the first day of February? This month has flown by, and it's done so with a lot of wet weather. We've got another dose of it tonight. So our temperature's generally in the 40s. South Hill coming in at 39 degrees. But the thing about tonight, it's one of those nights where temperatures are either not going to move at all, or they're going to eventually go up a little bit. That happens a few times throughout the year. Tonight's one of those nights. We're going to be locked in with the cloud cover. Again, on again, off again rain. Uh, nothing significant, nothing severe, nothing flooding, nothing all that heavy, but it's not going anywhere really. And our temperatures will hold in the mid 40s, then maybe dip down a degree or two, and then jump up a degree or two by morning. And then tomorrow will be significantly warmer. But with all these strange temperature fluctuations, as well as all the moisture in our atmosphere, we are going to have to deal with some limited visibility tomorrow. Fog, dense in some areas, will be an issue Tuesday morning. So here's kind of the setup and where we're going this week. We've got a warm front and a cold front that's going to impact us. So today we're ahead of the warm front, and that's where it's usually cooler. Behind the warm front is where we'll be tomorrow. That's where it'll be warmer. And then the cold front will move through later this week and will eventually be colder again. So prepare for a lot of messiness in your sinuses and with headaches and with your overall well-being because temperatures are going to be all over the place. Here's what the radar will look like tonight at 8. We still have the clouds, some fog, some scattered showers. That'll continue overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning. Again, nothing all that heavy, but some light rain will be around. A quick batch of showers mid-morning, and then tomorrow, the second half of the day will be drier. I can't promise perfectly sunny skies, but the clouds will thin and break up some. Then we get into Wednesday. The morning time will start dry Wednesday. Remember, Wednesday will be cooler again after a warm day tomorrow, and then here comes some wet weather from lunchtime through the afternoon Wednesday and through Wednesday night. So another good chance of rain being likely. It's early Thursday morning before we all get up that as this moisture is wrapping up, some cold air could turn some of that rain to snow, but then boom, the moisture's gone. So it's not a good timing situation for those of you that want snow. Yes, it is possible, but something significant is not happening. We'll be lucky to get a dusting, and that's if you get up before the sun comes up because we dry out later in the day Thursday. So it's a busy weather week, and I still got another good chance of rain on the 10 day. So tomorrow is the warmer day. Then we start to cool off Wednesday into Thursday. No doubt about it. Thursday is going to be a cold day. But if you want to see some snow, you're going to have to get up before the sun comes up and you have to do it quickly because it's going to melt fast. Not a significant event, especially when it's going to be 60 tomorrow. Then our next good chance of rain is Sunday before next week. As February begins, we slowly warm into the 50s. All right, Wes, thank you.